Hello gamers, this is Pet from GamerPet.com and welcome to Learn Dota 2 with Pet. Uh, in this episode we are going to play Kunkka. Now in this series uh, I'm going to pick a hero, randomly or not. Uh, I'm going to try to play it as best as possible. I will explain you the basics and uh, the spells and all the stuff I know. Then you are going to post on the forums or on the comments uh, below and the next time I'm going to play this hero I'm going to do a better job because I'm going to to take your suggestion into consideration while I will still provide you with uh, other people with the basic info. So right now I'm on uh, bottom with Skyrath Mage. Um, normally he's kind of a support player but I'm not sure if he's going to let me support. Uh, so sorry to to let me last hit uh, so he can uh, be the support one. Now Kunka is a pretty pretty fun hero. I kind of uh, enjoy him. I haven't played him too much. I believe I only played him like um, three times or four times. And bam! I just remember shit. We are on the line with Keeper of the Light, and Keeper of the Light is a pretty pretty. I, I believe it's kind of my favorite hero. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Keeper of the Light, I'm going to talk more about Kunka. If we have time, we are going to talk about him uh, also. Our team consists of a uh, of, uh, Templar Assassin, a pretty good mid hero. We actually have a, a mid battle between Queen of Pain, a good mid hero, and a Templar Assassin. We have Jakiro, a support character. We have. Uh, the tree, tree and protection, another support character. So it's kind of strange that uh, we have two support uh, heroes on the same line. I would have preferred uh, to do a switch. And of course we have a Skyrat Mage uh, on the line with me. We also have a courier, which is uh, awesome, right? <laughs> now, <clears throat> let's talk more about Kunka. Kunka is, uh, besides being a fun hero, he's kind of a pirate captain or something like that. And let's see... First blood! First blood! Let's see that again. I'm going to fall back two times, like I'm there... Uh, yeah, it, it, it usually happens when you are... He, he wanted to go for a kill, I'm not sure exactly what he wanted, but Skyrot Mage... I, I don't think that they knew that Skyrot Mage was uh, inside uh, the jungle, so they thought that I was alone. Anyway, I'm using my potion, I'm sitting pretty comfortable, I did the first blood, first blood! I'm using um, a new HUD, uh, it's uh, gear something, uh, and uh, hopefully you're not going to be able to hear it, but I'm also using the new announcer, Pyron Flex. Uh, the reason why I hope you won't be able to hear it, is because if you hear it, that means you're not going to hear me too well. So, back on Kunka, he has four spells, of course, this one called Torrent which uh, summons a rising turret dead after a short delay hurls enemy unit into the sky stunning dealing damage and slowly moving moving speed so slow 35 uh, slow duration one and then it's going to upgrade uh, and it uh, the damage is kind of uh, good 300 damage at maximum level the thing is that it has a delay so you kind of need to know how to land this you, you need to anticipate uh, where the hero is going to be and there is the place where you are going to put a torrent now this Tidebringer. This is like a super, super fucked up spell. Kunka's legendary sword grants increased damage and cleaves a large area of effect in front of him for a single strike. Like the radius is going to be huge and the damage is going to be huge. So if, uh, for example, I'm going to... I'm being targeted by uh, the homing missile. I'm going into... You can actually attack the homing missile. And this is why I went to the tower range. But anyway, I also went there to be more protected. So it seems that he wants to land a kill. He got hit. He, he was kind of stupid. He was kind of stupid, like he doesn't move at all. And the good thing is that uh, Keeper of the Light is not actually that able to harass us. At least me. Bam, that was the torrent. Used. And this is the thing, that this spell is going to hit the whole creep wave. And in a way it's not a good idea because you are going to push the lane. But uh, the thing is, that it's also going to hit the two heroes, and uh, in a way you are harassing them, and that's pretty awesome. Now the thi good thing is that we are also on the team with Trant, and Trant has uh, this uh, awesome spell called Living Armor, which is a global spell that basically heals and it's giving armor to me, as you can see. And I'm also blocking, and I'm regenerating. So awesome, uh, this dude is awesome. 
Uh, his name is Damrich Fife. Um, you don't see Trant really that often, but it's a pretty, pretty fun. And bam, as you can see, I missed the torrent. And I'm going uh, to go for a kill. I'm going to try to attempt a kill. Let's see, maybe I will get any of them. No trace that he has no mana. The thing is that I'm kind of alone right now, and I also don't have mana of my own in order to put a torrent down. And at least I managed to get uh, Keeper of the Light, and this is where we are still fighting over here. Uh, he used the wand, and I'm being targeted by the stun, and bam, I managed to kill him. And again, the awesome Treant using his spell to protect me, and I have a shitload of gold. I have 2-0, and I believe that the last hit, um, yeah, Skyrot Mage got the last hit. Now, the third spell that... Uh, Kunka has, I don't think we are going to see it too often into this game, it's usually the last spell that you are going uh, uh, to level up and it's called X marks the spot. Targets a friendly or an enemy hero, marks their position with an X and returns them it after several seconds. Kunka can trigger the return at any time during the duration. So this is a big big deal, uh, it's going to rise in a range and it's also going to rise in delay so uh, the good thing is that if you count the seconds if you count the delay in your head you will be able to to land a torrent on the x spot so you know for sure that the target is going to be affected by torrent it takes some skill to do that but uh, i didn't actually had a chance to use this too often i believe and we also have Ghost Sheep, which is a pretty fun ultimate, and I do believe we are going to see it soon. And um, I will tell it after this, I'm kind of trying to do something here, but uh, no, I'm just trying to do some damage. Bam! As you can see, the torrent, it's there. I'm still dealing some damage, and I do have to fall back, because I don't want to risk this uh, too much. Scarlet Mage is there, he's trying to attack the bomb. I'm also trying to run into... Uh, tower range, but I I got hit. But then again, the awesome tree with his living armor is protecting me from uh, harm, and I'm healing, and I am able to sit on the line for more um, for more time. And bam! You, as you can see, the cooldown for this ability, um, the, the ability happens s each uh, s seven seconds, four seconds, each four seconds uh, at maximum level, so it's a pretty pretty awesome uh, spell. So right now I have Ghost Ship. Ghost Ship says summons a Ghost Ship to cut a sweat uh, through battle, causing damage and stuns to enemy units as it crashes through. Allies are those in Kunka's room receiving bonus damage, speed and delay. And basically the damage is nine, the, is pretty nice. You also need to know exactly how to land this. And uh, you will see it when I'm going to use it. Now the starting uh, the starting units for me are um, a bracer. I believe I got this early on because I randomed Kunka and I had extra money. Face boots for extra damage and uh, in order to move faster, I need to be more alert on. Uh, uh, basically, you are moving faster whenever you activate the boots. So, and an iron branch. I, and I do believe I'm going to. Uh, this is Bane, so what you see, this this is a standard Bane build, so I, I kind of forgot. Oh, I met with uh, Keeper of the Light, but I missed the torrent again. Again, as I've said, I haven't played Kunka too, too much, and I'm not 100% used to him, so I'm not really used on landing those uh, good um, torrents and good uh, X marks the spot. Again, the awesome tree with his living armor. And this is a really fun hero, and I'm thinking on doing an episode on him. I'm not really that used on playing Missing him, bottom. but I believe it will be a pretty, pretty fun experiment. So I do have 17, 18 last hits. Uh, I didn't have actually that much time to sit on lane and uh, land the last hits, uh, because we kind of fought a lot, but it's still pretty decent, 18 less hits in minute 8. Um, it's not really ideal, but it depends, you really need to know exactly what to do, and I'm not sure exactly what I was doing here. He pulled the creeps, I'm going back to land some less hits. It's kind of easy to land, oh, I missed that one. It's kind of easy to land less hits, especially when you are using the Tidebringer, and I was, uh, I believe this was the, the reason when I was, yeah, I was getting super annoyed because, woohoo, he's going up, and right now, with the damage from Jakiro, I will be able to land a kill, I'm on a killing spree, 3-0, but the problem is that this was the ultimate, um, if the, if the ship passes through you, you will, uh, you will receive a buff that says that 
you are basically going to receive the damage you receive while during the debuff only after the debuff uh, finishes. So it's kind of uh, nice. So let's say if you are going to receive 200 damage uh, while you are under the debuff, you're going to receive those 200 damage when the debuff will end. So you'll have a longer period of... Uh, you're going to survive for a longer period. So 3-0 right now I have one assist. I managed to go back and uh, heal. I'm sitting pretty comfortable. I have 1000 gold which is super nice. I do bought a town portal scroll and I'm going to teleport uh, middle I think or am I going to teleport? Why am I not teleporting? Probably was it on cooldown? I supposed to see the cooldown. I really really don't understand why I'm not teleporting. So, from what I see, they are pushing uh, the top lane, uh, Templar Assassin, 1 kill, 23 last hits. So if I look at uh, last hits, uh, I'm sitting pretty okay with 21. It's a good idea to compare yourself to others uh, in the same game and not to pro players. Because sometimes in public games especially. Let's see if I'm going to be able, I'm going for a gank uh, and look. How beautiful I landed that torment. I'm also positioning myself uh, in front of him so I can land a couple of extra hits. Jakiro is there. X marks the spot, but uh, no, no, no. I actually, yeah, yeah, I actually used the ultimate. It wasn't X marks the spot. I used the ultimate. I saw an X down, uh, and uh, I knew that it, it is a thing that the ghost ship is going to land in front of you. So you need to know exactly how to use it. So I'm 4 0 right now, and I purchased Shadow Amulet. And yep, I'm going to go for a Shadow Blade, which is a pretty, pretty important uh, item for Kunkka. Why? Because of the extra damage, and because you can go invisible and you can just pop out uh, near a hero and you can uh, just uh, kill him. Because uh, Kunkka, of course, is a melee hero, and uh, your only ranged uh, ability is uh, Tidebringer. And of course, uh, ghost ship, which you don't actually you, you want to use this on uh, on team fights and not uh, like I use it on, to kill only one hero. But it was okay because I did secure a kill, so it's still okay. Anyway, and the thing is that with the shadow blade, you can just pop up near a hero. You can uh, put X marks the spot. You can count uh, uh, the seconds and land the torrent exactly there, and uh, basically you will just be Do able to maybe 100% secure a kill. So 29 uh, less hits. Uh, let's see what uh, what the others are doing. I'm usually focusing on my game and not on the game overall, but it might be a good idea because I, I was kind of thinking on the trying uh, to cast some Dota 2 games, uh, you know, for fun and. Uh, Maybe I can teach some of the players because I, I'm not like a super experienced player, but the thing is that... Okay, Queen of Pain is here. The thing is that I'm actually watching a lot of uh, tournaments. Boom! Beautiful uh, ultimate. Beautiful torment. And I was able to land a kill. This was beautiful. I, I was feeling like super confident. I was like in control. I knew exactly how the the, the hero, how the what the abilities are doing, and I was feeling like super confident. So back, uh, I, I'm watching a lot of games, and even that I do have some knowledge. I do know some of the heroes. I do know some of the spells. A lot of them actually. Whenever the the, the casters are casting, you know, the pro player games, they are using. They are using short words and other stuff that you simply can't understand even if you are listening carefully. And I was thinking of doing some kind of cast where I can simply go over the heroes, explain some spells and uh, be more noob friendly. So I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Should I do that? Mm, I'm still drinking coffee even that it's about uh, almost 4 p.m. Gyrocopter once to fight but uh, I'm kind of running away I see that Jakiro was there Jakiro is also super fun uh, support hero the first time I played it I felt that uh, he was super slow and as you can see with boots he's only having 340 and if you are going to build arcane boots you are going to be at uh, what 350 and that's pretty low like with uh, with Kunkka I'm actually using face boots right now but Kunkka is sitting at 355 and this is why you actually build uh, face boots because you didn't you, you do need to go uh, close um, to your enemies and this is the shadow blade and in case you don't know what it does it's uh, an activated you um, not unit an activated uh, uh, item 
and whenever you activate it, you go invisible and uh, you also gain constant uh, this was a failed i actually wanted to go to um, for him but i missed he he was smart enough to retreat uh you you gain 30 damage and 30 attack speeds and you will always going to have that but when you activate the item you're going to uh, like i might say i activated it now i'm invisible now he doesn't see me bam i popped out i critical hit him and I'm, I, I miss the torment and the creeps were super annoying. Uh, the creeps actually blocked me and uh, he was there right in time to run away because of the stupid creeps. And um, I actually wrote stupid creeps again because in a game before that I actually played with uh, Witch Doctor and a creep managed to block me and I actually died. And it was a friendly creep. <laughs> I couldn't run in tower range so anti-mage killed me. Anyway. I was saying about the shadow blade. You go invisible. You walk faster. You can walk to units. But if you break the invisibility by using an attack, you are going to have 150 bonus damage, and that's huge. That's huge. I'm also using. <laughs> I'm also using. Uh, I actually got this item by opening a kunkka chest a couple of videos ago. And uh, I don't actually like the item, but it's even common. But I said, okay, let's use it because it really it, it's strange and it counts uh, kills. It was like four four deaths, four deaths. I'm not sure exactly what they did. As I've said, I'm 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 more focusing on me and what I do. Queen of Pain is trying to go me, but I went invisible again. That uh, tree with uh, the living armor. I simply love the guy. And I love that I can finally play a carry and I know that I have another support supporting me. Because whenever I'm playing support, people always expect me to do everything. Uh, even the, when there is another uh, semi-support like Lina. Lina is kind of a support character, but people people are playing her like a gank. They are getting an ag Aghanim Scepter only because they want that uh, powerful ultimate, right? So uh, I got an illusion drone here and I'm splitting the illusions in order to scout to see and I'm actually sending uh, only one illusion there because I, I, I try to force them uh, to use some abilities. I'm using the directed camera so I can't actually show it to you. It's not a free camera, it's a hero chase. Um, coffee. Now. I'm going invisible, I'm going behind the trees because they do have a tower and tower uh, has detection. Bam, I tried to actually land uh, the ultimate, I failed it, but I'm trying to do as much damage as possible right now. The pain was kind of stupid, bam, beautiful, beautiful ultimate by uh, Skyrat Mage and bam, I'm on Wicked Sick, I got 7, 8 kills right now, triple kill. I was feeling so confident, so confident. Look at me buying the items. I was feeling like a god, <laughs> even that I'm not. Again, I, I, I feel that I was playing well, but uh, I was playing well because I did have a good Jakiro that came back to support me when I told him, and I did have a pretty awesome uh, tree. Skyrat Mage, uh, he kind of didn't support me at all. And as I've said, he's kind of a support character. We do have two pure support, Jakiro and the tree, but still uh, he could have. And bam, I do have uh, Crystallis. That's more damage and more critical chance and critical damage. And I'm kind of petty. Yeah, I was godlike, but I think I'm going to die here. Yep. Or I'm still uh, I'm nightmare. They are positioning themselves. Anti-Mage was stupid, he actually attacked me and he got Nightmare. Bane has, I, Bane has an ability that's called Nightmare. You're going to put a target, a friendly target or an enemy target into Nightmare. They won't be able to move. Uh, and the duration is kind of large, 7 seconds at uh, last level. But if someone attacks that target, he will be the one that's going to be Nightmare. And yep, sorry, that was my Facebook actually, I forgot to exit. Yep, it's my friend. He told me that I, I, I got something up that's not working on YouTube. I'm not sure exactly what's up on YouTube and it's not working because I didn't got any copyright problems or anything. So yeah, my fault for uh, being on uh, Facebook when I'm recording. Nah, I'm so unprofessional. 
So I'm trying to do... There, the ultimate is coming. I do have a Torment there. The Gyrocopter, man, that Gyrocopter. And I got a double kill. Man, I love this announcer. I, I'm not sure that you were able to hear him. But, man... Man, and uh, yeah, right now I'm using the gear tooth, but I, I was also using this, uh, this HUD. But this new HUD is pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, back on the game. Uh, again, I, ha I, had, I, I had no feeling that I need to use Ismark the spot. Because I al always was able to go into the fight the way I wanted to. Again, I only died once and I have 11 kills. Like, I'm not really invincible right now, but still... I was feeling pretty comfortable. So let's see, we are trying to do a push here. Let's use free camera now. Queen of Pain going there. And again, me with the ultimate boof. Beautiful, beautiful ultimate. Jakiro with his own ultimate putting some uh, fire there. What the hell am I doing? I, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I didn't have too much life, so I was afraid to go in, and uh, also the Shadow Blade is not active, so I'm going right now to try to intercept them over here. Uh, Templar Assassin is there, a pretty fun hero, but with the Anti-Mage, let's see if I'm going to be able... Oh my god, I forgot about the Keeper of the Light, and I died again, but with the Templar Assassin, oh, he almost managed to kill on Anti-Mage. Not successful, not successful. Boom, beautiful with that... Uh Keeper of the Light, one of my favorite heroes. I should actually do a video when I play him. So again, I'm dead, but I'm still sitting pretty comfortable. We we hmm, we are 23-18, so the only guy that's sitting comfortable is me, actually, if I'm looking. I mean, this is a support character, he's 0-3, that's fine. But again, the Skyred Mage is the one with the problem. 3 kills and 7 deaths. He wasn't really that such a good player. Even his items like Soul Ring, uh, I'm not sure what to say about the Soul Ring. Uh, it, ha it has HP and mana regeneration, it's kind of cheap, but yeah, it might be useful. I'm not sure exactly what, I only played the uh, Scarlet Mage two times and it was a fun hero. But I, I guess it, it might be okay because sometimes you need that extra mana to land a spell. Maybe especially the ultimate, which is pretty mana intensive. So now I'm going back. I'm actually over here trying to push the lane and, and farm some more. I was actually farming 74 less hits, as you can see. I have a shitload of less hits. And uh, not because I do have skill, but because of this ability called Tidebringer. They are doing some fight over here, let's see what's going to happen. Queen of Pain, it's such, so, <laughs> a lot of chaos. Good ultimate by uh, Scarlet Mage. I also saw the Trent using his ultimate, which is kind of nice. It basically, he, he basically is stopping everyone in place. You know, like, uh, the, the, he's rooting them to ground. And again, him with the awesome living armor. I fucking love you, guy. This is the guy, damn it. I'm not sure if you are going to be able to see the Steam uh, profile right now, if you are seeing the Steam overlay. But he's uh, from Russia. Man, a good Russian player. Privet, Privet, my friends. G good Russians do exist. Bam, I got a Demon Age, even more damage for me. This is what happens when you actually... And now I can basically just go and farm. I am, and I am receiving damage, so I'm not actually that safe. I don't have uh, health regeneration. I, I am only pure damage actually. This is uh, giving me some uh, health. This is giving me damage and movement speed. Damage and attack speed, which means more damage. Damage, damage, and the <laughs> branch. I still have my branch, Jesus Christ. I supposed to sell him, so to sell the branch and buy uh, town portal scrolls. They are trying to do a push here, but uh, let's see what they are doing actually. I don't remember this because I was busy here pushing the lane and farming. Maybe I should have joined my team. I'm sure that they, they seem to handle themselves and this is why Jakiro is an awesome uh, character. He has a shitload of uh, AoE damage even with that, with that frozen thing that basically stops uh, uh, players together. They, they basically it frozes the, the enemies. Anyway, I'm attacking the tower. I'm able to do damage alone. I'm doing a split push here. 
Keeper of the Light is trying to come. Okay, Mana Leak. I'm stopping. Mana Leak is like... Uh, uh, boom, ultimate. And I managed to got him. I'm running away. I'm running away. Let's see if I will be able to survive. The, the, that's the thing. I, my god. The Shadow Blade is here. No, 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 no. <laughs> Even with that living armor, I wasn't able to survive. So Gyrocopter got a kill. He's 13, 11. Poor fellow. He didn't have a chance. And if I remember early on, he kind of died by his mistake. And then we did manage to have a fight here with Keeper of the Light. It should have just played safe and just harassed the shit out of us with uh, Keeper of the Light to illuminate. Keeper of the Light uh, has Mana Leak, which is usually the last skill you're leveling up. And uh, the more you move, the more mana you're going to lose. And if you're going to run out of mana, you're going to be stunned for a couple of seconds. 2.2 seconds at last level. No, Jakiro, you died. So I'm also stick there and I managed to complete my Daedalus. More damage, 81 damage in total, 25 critical chance and critical damage 240 uh, percent. So that means that each, almost every four hits, I'm going to land a critical which is going to do 240 damage. More than I have. And I do have damage. I have uh, 248... Uh, 14, 47. I believe. I'm, I'm bad at math. So I, so I we land about a 500, almost 500 or about 500 critical strike. And Queen of Pain has 1,011, 1,100 1, 1, hit points. Jesus Christ, me and the numbers. And basically I will be able to take half of his life. Bane has the same. Gyrocopter is almost the same. Poor Keeper of the Light, almost the same. So they are very low. They don't have a tank. anti I can't see his uh, health right now. But anyway, Kunkka is back. I'm pushing mid by myself. I'm not sure why they are obsessing about this tower. They want this tower. They are obsessing about this tower. I did some damage to this tower. Now I'm pushing uh, here. And they kind of died again. Again the Skyrat Mage died. And he built a veil of Discord. What the hell? Magic weakness. Eh, okay, actually that's kind of okay. Because you activate it and emits a weakness in blast. Increasing the magic damage enemy takes. And this is a good, a good choice. I forgot about this uh, item. I actually forgot this about the item. Ultimate. Ah, I managed to land it. Managed to land. But I got stuck. Actually I also got stunned. I'm trying to deal some more damage to this tower. Oh, Illuminate! I managed to avoid it. Phew! And was that, what, what was I talking about? I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I was talking about... No... Oh, man. Oh, Skyrot Mage. Uh, he's having a lot of spells that deal magic damage, right? So, magic weakness seems like a good choice. You also have intelligence, which is good. Bonus magic damage, which is good. And uh, yeah, the ultimate basically is, doing, is dealing 900 damage in 2 seconds in a small area. So that's a lot. Again, they are fighting over here. Where is me? I died. No, I died. I was here. Look, there's my... No, why did I die? But I bought, I bought back. I had money to buy back. And now I'm joining my friends again to deal some uh, damage and try to push and finish uh, this uh, game. Let's see if I'm going to be able to do it. Let's see how for how long this is going to take. We are kind yeah, we are in control of the game like 40. I, it was kind of close because uh, they did had a couple of kills, but come on, anti-mage with 16, gyrocopter with 612, report anti-mage. <laughs> uh, keeper of the light with 5 <laughs> 7 7 8 and 4 7. So they they their carries uh, Anti-Mage and uh, Queen of Pain, they didn't uh, do too well. I managed to take down this tower, now I'm going for... You always go for the midi barracks. From what I know, like... For what do you guys go? Range barracks or melee barracks? And I go for the melee barracks because there are more... On a creep wave, there are more uh, melees than range. Usually, there is only one range that's coming. Um, Sometimes they spawn two range, but there will always be like four or five melee crits. So that's why you need to win the range. But uh, I saw once in a game a guy and he was actually 
explained to me that you should go for the range barracks because the range barracks have only 5 armor and not 15 armor and this is why you are killing this fast yeah but you are not doing anything you're killing this and you didn't actually gain too much uh, lane advantage at least this is my opinion i'm really curious on what you guys think about that so we managed to win the middle of the f the middle of the lane so we do have uh, creeps uh, better creeps there i'm trying to farm again i do believe for a buyback i'm not sure if i'm going to get uh, more items but what's there to do there is no point like this guy is surely going to die or maybe he's going to survive i'm not sure oh he got hit by that there is no point for me on to go and help him because there are five of them and we are only two of us and i'm not invincible and wh why am i staying like go dude go kill something look so many creeps there i should go there and uh, that's like a really good free farm. So it seems that I'm farming some more. They're trying to put it in. Oh my god, they didn't, they didn't even win one tower. Even one, the tier one tower. This is tier one tower, tier two tower, tier three towers. Just so you know, tier one, tier two. So yeah, I'm a bit late to this party. Look, so, so much free farm. That's unfortunate. And man, I love this uh, HUD. I really love this HUD. Okay, free farm, and I'm pushing top lane again. I pushed. I uh, I don't get this, guys. I pushed this lane by myself. The tower, the damage I dealt was by myself. I pushed the middle by myself. Now I'm going top, and they are going <laughs> bottom. <laughs> uh, funny. I'm cutting to the woods because I want to kill more creeps. This is a hard uh, creep, and they they give more money than uh, I believe these guys. Yeah, these guys. This is an easy camp. This is a hard camp, this is a hard camp. This is a medium camp. And by that I mean uh, the difficulty on killing um, the monsters. And how difficult, oh my god, 772 uh, <laughs> critical shot. I can honestly say that Kunka is a really, really fun hero. Like I, maybe I should have joined the teammates. The problem was that I had no life. And the only way to go back was to go here and buy town portals and teleport and then go, which is which means I'm going to waste time. And look, they got a is on a mega skills streak or however you pronounce it. Eight seven, he's actually and Queen of Pain is getting back. And bam, I actually bought a demon zane, so I even have more more damage. Yeah, ma maybe I should have go and go there and help them but i i do think i would have been focused down and killed because again i'm i'm always in constant low health because i have no region everything is da damage on me and i do think that that's how you play kunka i'm not sure i'm not sure i, I spotted this guy i spotted anti-mage and i think i'm going for a kill nope i'm still killing creeps without any problems they denied the top tower. Uh, why would you deny the tower? That you, you can't attack a tower or a creep. The tower is about when they have like 5% life left, I do believe. Then you can start attacking it. it. It's like right here. You can attack him and you can deny your tower. And that means that whenever you kill a tower, you gain 200 damage. Right? But when you lose the tower, of course, the enemy team is going to gain 200 damage. If you deny a tower, you are going. they are only going to get 100 gold, not damage, gold. And this is why you go for the denials of the towers. For the creeps, it's the same thing. You are going to deny them gold, but you are also going to deny them experience. Because whenever a creep dies, you gain experience. And again, I'm in the jungle still farming while they are fighting around. Uh maybe as i've said i should have just go uh get some and yeah I, I, I think i was going for a monkey king bar and I, as you can see i already have we are sitting pretty comfortable anyway i think it's still 42 30. what can they do if they can come back uh, anti-mage still no chance for him what are the items on the anti-mage come on he doesn't even have battle fury uh, gyrocopter. Gyrocopter does have a uh, Black King bar, but that that's not going to help uh, versus my attack. Right? Keeper of the Light. He does have mechas, and that's a good uh, team fight. And do we have mechas? Yep. Two times, actually, which is bad. 
you don't want to have two mechas because uh, they are going they are not uh, overwriting each other they are not stacking each other that's what i want to say so usually one guy goes mech one guy goes pipe pipe uh, pipe basically blocks uh, magic damage while mech uh, heals everyone so. so i do have my items and i think i will go yep i'm going right now for the, they want to do rosh i think oh no actually rosh died yeah i think i'm going to just go buy a town portal scroll so i'm going uh, to to heal and get my items yep that's what's happening i have monkey king bar 88 damage 15 attack speed chance to mini bash 35 percent and mini bash damage 100 i even have a chance for more damage right and the passive true strike prevents your attacks from missing i can't miss and mini bash give a chance to mini bash and the thing with the miss is usually miss when you're on the low ground and you are attacking a high ground hero but what uh, this means is you know there are um what's the name i forgot the name for that hero let me see i actually played with the hero come on load it's not loading Ah, stupid Dota. Uh, what's the name? It's the one that has the ultimate and it splits. And you can drunk on your opponents. And uh, basically they will have like a super high miss chance. With uh, Monkey Kimbar, I won't be able to miss. What the hell is the name of that hero? Fail to retrieve profile data. And that's going to happen again. So I'm pushing this lane right now. And the name is Brewmaster. I could have just all tabbed because I have uh, <laughs> Dota buff open. Jesus Christ, Pat. Jesus Christ. And they are stupid right now. They are stupid now. Why? Because they can just go for the fucking barracks. And what they are doing? They are going for the fountain kills. They are going for the fountain kills. And that's stupid. You haven't won the game. Yes, we have a huge advantage. But don't go for fucking... Uh, look, they are basically dying here. They are literally dying. Yep, they died. The, the, the anti mage got a mega kill. He's 6-6 six, six now. He's not bad anymore. Why? Because they fucking go went for the stupid fountain kills. Fucking retards. Yeah, I'm using the F word a lot. I'm using the fuck word a lot because this is how you actually lose games. This is how you, I'm not invincible. I do have a high advantage like bam. But I, we are not invincible. I can't win the game. By myself. And bah, she ran away. Why, why am I going there? Yeah, for this. <laughs> Triple kill, okay. I went for the fountain kill. I was a noob. But we do have, actually there is still one tower active. But I went there because I can. I do. I did have that ultimate that does splash damage to everyone in this area. And it was safe to go. For them it wasn't. Especially since they were doing fountain kills without me. That means that I, I'm not there to deal more damage and maybe save them. And I died. I died. I'm not invincible, as I've said. However, I had enough money to buy back. And now I'm coming. Uh, I'm teleporting to this tower and I'm going back. And as you can see, the Dyer's uh, Ancient is under attack. And when this goes down, we are winning the game. Again. Oh my god. Fountain kills. Free fountain kills. I'm going to get more kills. And when I'm going to school tomorrow, I'm going to brag on how much kills I, I got. Oh my god has finished so thank you guys for watching uh, learn Dota 2 with pet kunka episode number one as i've said please give your suggestions in the comments uh, below i'm going uh, to take your advice and uh, the next time i'm going to play kunka i'm going to do a better job but i'm still going to provide you with the info i know you know the basic info so also don't forget to go to gamerpad.com slash forum and uh, be a part of the GamerPad community. So thank you guys for watching. You are awesome. See you in the next uh, episode.